Okay, so now that your tassel looks like this and it's completely attached to the end of your guru bead, now you're going to complete your tassel. So you're going to the two strings that are a part of your mala that you use to knot the beads with, you're just gonna make sure that they're in the middle, that they're hanging down in the middle. And then you're going to take the, the tassel part of the string and you're just going to kind of smush it all together, allowing these strings here to be in the middle of the two strings, of the two sides of your tassel. And so sometimes in the packaging, because they've been in the packages for a while, because of the shipping, the string can get like kinks in it and creases. So I just, I, I pet my tassel. <laughs> um, I just kind of comb, like almost like I'm combing it down on the sides just to make sure that there's no bumps in it, that it's completely even, that it's, you know, it looks as smooth and good as possible. And so now that piece of, that small piece of string that you took off of it from before that you set aside, this little piece of string here, you're going to you're going to hold your tassel in one hand whichever hand floats your boat so you're going to hold your tassel together like this in one hand and then you're going to take this string and you're going to have that in your other hand and you're going to place that over the top of your tassel and just let it dangle basically basically half and half um and ha half of this 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 string so half of the string is on one side of the tassel half of the string is on the other side of the tassel and you want to put it so that it's maybe like two centimeters from the guru bead three centimeters from the guru bead if you can see mine like this this Here is a pretty good spot. So if that gives you an idea of how much space between the top of the tassel and where you want to have this string. Now, you are going to wrap this string around five times. So one of the things I forgot to mention, when you tied the two knots into the bottom of your guru bead to hold the tassel to your guru bead. One knot was to allow positive energy to come into your life. The other knot was to protect you from negative energies. And so now this piece of string here, we are going to wrap it around the tassel like this five times. One time is for fire, one time is for water, one time is for earth, one time is for sun, and one time is for moon. So once you have the string wrapped around your tassel five times, what I do and what I have found easiest is I lay it down and both of the, both of the ends of the strings should be on one side and you wanna pull them firmly and then you're going to make two knots in this. Again, the two knots in this one knot and you want to pull it tight you want this to be tight one knot again is for allowing positive energy to come into your space and the second knot i'm going to tie it again so that it stays is to protect yourself from negative energies 
So now you have two knots and now your tassel should look like this. 